hey guys welcome back to another video so i finally got around doing a guide for this build from the nub vs pro series the video format for my build guide will be different this year because i'll be talking throughout the building process let me know in the comments if you prefer this process or this format or if you prefer the old format before we get started, I want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by the folks over at Viking Jewelry. They make a wide variety of handcrafted, premium, high quality jewelry to express your inner Viking. And if you use code VERSA25, you get 25% off within the next 48 hours on products a part of the first line collection. They also have a 30% off winter sale on selected products that will end February 8th. So if you want to show off your inner Viking, definitely check them out. Link is in the description. Okay, so here are all the required materials that you need to make the medieval house. Bear in mind that all of them are estimated over the amount that would possibly be. And also, the, these are just the main um materials that you need to make the structure so let's jump right in okay so we're going to start off with the front here and this is where our our patio section is going to be for the build so we have six at the front and we need seven for the side now to make everything consistently consistent in measurements so make sure that the stones are overlapped at the edges so one two three four five six seven and we just do the same thing now this time we Burn about 10, I think. Yeah, it's about 10. So, one, two, let me just repair that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, we're not going to continue right here just to uh, make sure that everything lines up. We're going to start from here with our where our tower is going to be on the left. And I want you to get out of the way, Hugo. Yeah, so we want you to place it right here at the edge and leave this little gap. Place the other stone wall, then two rotations. One, two, and we're gonna rotate again two times. One, two, and we basically repeat this step until we have it all done. Perfect. So everything is all set. Now we just need to make this side connect with this side here. So we just overlap it. You can see it's pretty easy. Nothing. I'm not doing anything special. When you slide the pointer close, you'll easily see it to overlap there. And we just continue to be. So it's about four, and then a little. I call it says five, and you are basically good to go from there. Okay, so next part is just the overall structure, how the build is going to shape out to be. So we have our foundation all set up here. But before we even proceed with that, we need to fill out our flooring section. And we are going to use uh, the wood, what's it, the wood beam. Yep. Now, this is optional to you. You could take maybe the easy route by just using wood flooring. But I like to be a little bit fancy with some of uh, the flooring work. So how I really start to do it is I alternate with the 2 meter and the 1 meter um, wood beam. Now I only do this at the starting once everything is all set. And I'm going to show you in a moment. So once I repeat all of this going across, it's basically easy after that because it's just one. You just use two wood meter two wood meter beam going straight down until it kind of stucks itself into the stone on the other side so it's just basically like this now if in the case that the middle is not getting much support you can simply raise the ground a bit so not too much so that it doesn't poke through the wood floor Maybe I can bring this down a bit, but yeah, let me just bring this down a bit so that it just can have some little bit of support in the middle and then you can be able to finish going across. Okay, so once all this is done, we just need to get this little section here done as well. So I'm using the, flute, the stone floor to go around the edges to create a little stone and wood flooring kind of style uh, with this kind of wood style in the middle now this is going to be a bit tricky to do 
uh, it was a bit difficult initially when I was trying it out but you just basically have to cheese it so one way I do this is basically place a stone wall in front of this one and place another so using the stone wall here to have this tucked in nicely into the wall so we're going to do this on the other side get that tucked in break these and we just basically continue with the same same thing so stone wall another one break this we can put one more beside it stone floor tucked in another one break these oops break the wrong one let me put that back in break that put that in and uh, we basically rinse and repeat so once you're done you should have something looking like this now we just need to put our little wood floor in and uh, how i do this is that you basically have to tuck this in so this is going to require a little bit of finesse so make sure that everything is you know tucked in close enough to make it look clean i don't like what i'm seeing right here in the edges but i guess this is how the the uh the pieces flex all right so do something like this now we're trying to re repeat replicate this pattern so to do this we're going to hand gauge it the just want to make sure that everything is on the same level so that's when they would come across it's not showing when it is tucked into the, the stone floor so that is good and we just repeat the same thing here so just use the the little gaps here as a guide so we have this gap here and then we have the two gaps here over to the right and left and then we just repeat the same thing just to catch that center uh, part there there we go and it's not too high we can get a little sharp piece here to basically tucked in there do the same thing and we just repeat the same thing so this time we're going to follow this gap line right here so it is hold on shift key aim on the this wood here facing us and just basically line it up make sure that it's uh, tucked in nice not poking or showing out on stone floor that's good let's do that and you see how the pattern is forming and we're just going to repeat this until we are completely over great here. now that our flooring is out of the way now we can focus on the main structure of the build so we're going to get some iron wood iron poles and how we're going to space this out, space this out is by every two space there's an iron pole so i'm going to start off with right here the entrance let me just break this wood because i wanted to touch the ground and get that um, support and let me just break that as well so we're going to need one more right here don't worry we can easily fix that now this is not going to snap in like uh, these other ones so we're going to have to manually place this in should be at the same level because the ground is level but if in the case that the ground is not level uh, there and you don't want to really into that problem of trying to sort that out you can try to cheese it you just get a short but oh this is not too by two in the gap and just because of the whole stone being chunky so this gets the wider portion of it sad to say but yeah so you can cheese it get another wood and pole and if this wasn't there you could have just put the attached pole right there let's see something like this to make it easier for you to make sure that everything is all leveled because you're going to need it to be all leveled when we're going up top now how much are we going up by is we consider this about half well about one so this height one stone wall height and this would be about total in three so this is one, two, three. Well, let me just get this one in place. Let's see, 
It's a bit. I'm gonna make it look awkward. No, it's not gonna look awkward. It's gonna have the same thing. Oops, breaking the wrong stone. We just get that in. Make a few outs, and we basically just do the same thing. Okay, so this is not easy, so we don't have to worry about that. And I have my my scaffolding here. This is my little design I always use in survival. Pretty easy to kind of uh, move around. So this is one, two, three, and we put one more. It should be about five. So five in total. So I should have something looking like this. Now we're just going to get our iron beam to go across. And we just meet it right there. So it should look like this. Um, pretty awesome love the, the whole <laughs> structural engineer thing that I'm trying to work with Vala. Uh, so we basically just carry this to just meet where this wall will come up and support the remaining part of that that structure. So it should be... we can just bring in one more. It's not gonna be any harm. Once we bring the stone up, we will know what to do afterwards. So it should have something looking like this. When you're done next what we're gonna do is that we're gonna bring these walls up the back wall here I think it's about four okay so you should have something looking like this for now I've brought the sides up by four and four so marking out where the windows will be so it's basically like start off with like one stone wall and a half and then leave this particular window right there uh, one stone wall and a half so I want the windows to be this one to draw closer adjust that Okay, so it should be something like this. We just get some the half stone wall. Let's frame that out. And then do the same thing over here. Let's break this. So you see how it is even out. One and a half, window, one and a half, window, one and a half, window, one and a half, and uh, the wall. Bring this wall up, and we're going up by five. So this would be basically our first uh, level. We call this one. So basically going up until we meet the wood pole. Great. So we should be, we should have something like this. Now we're just going to mark or let me just fill the floor in here. It's up under my side. I'm not having that done. Let's fix that up. Okay. All right. So everything else in there. All right. So we're just going to mark where our doorway is going to be. So we're just going to break this. Just put some small stone there. So break this. Uh, let me just repair my hammer. Oh, let me just get the door to see how high it needs to be. Okay, so once we break this, then it's all good. With the door, we can we can put it there for now. And I also was thinking that there should be a window right here. So let me just bring that out. Something like this. And one should be over here as well. Great. We're going to clean all of that up later. It's just this is just the ugly side of the building uh, process. We will reach to the finishing side where we really go to that level. Alright, so once this is done, we are going to place our stone on top of these stone, these wood pole. Now, I'm going to cheese it again because I want to make sure that everything is in line and is working properly, structural, structural integrity wise. So I'm just going to bring this stone wall up. Now the trick is that once the stone wall is resting on top of the wood pole, it will give it support, not under it. Even if it is touching it and it's under it, it will break. So this gives you an example. Or if it doesn't break, you may not get any support at all, much support, which is this. You see how it, it is orange while this over here is green. So we don't need that. And we just basically carry this all the way over. So you see it follows the line there. Now we're going to cheese it again for the other side. Okay, so for our tower, it, we're going to get a small stone. It's called alternating. 
small and two major at the edges. You're gonna see. So something like this, I repeat, and you get the two meter stone in the middle. Then on top of that, so you just get two. Let me just make sure everything is lined up here. Uh, so you get the two meter stone here and here. Okay, so we meet at the edge, going around. We just finish this side here. Now we're gonna work on the top structure uh, of this section here of the build. And we're just going to build this up about five stone walls. Stone wall high. Just, so let me see, let me just count. So I think we're going to count it from here. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Now we should have enough space for a window because a window should be about one. So one, two, three. Three stone wall high. Okay. So we're gonna bring this across. So I'm gonna complete this off screen, then we can continue from where we left off. Let's see how all this is done. So it should be looking like this side view here. So we're gonna fix up uh, this right here, this section. This this is going to be like a, a roof that is basically slant uh, down the side, and we're going to use the 26 degree for this. Basically, something to work off when we are placing the stone so that you can work with the the angle. So we're just going to bring this up. Hopefully, I can reach and touch a wood so that it doesn't fall. All right, so something like that. Put the small stone right here. Yeah. So it should be something like this. So at the edge, it's, uh, this section here, it's one, but it's gonna be like two going down. So two, so this should be two as well. Then this should be a two. And basically it's finished right there. Okay, so with the structure of the build in place, now we can do some roof work. So we're gonna start off with a wood meter wood uh, beam. I want you to create the overhang for the roof and we're going to do one to push out at the front and do the same over on the other side. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to get the 45 degree roof and this is where I want to place it somewhere that line and I want it to go up and bring the, the overhang of the roof across. So we should have something like this and we we'll just do it on the other side because there seems to be a lot of space that we're going to have up top so we're going to carry this up further so one more throw the stone one there another one here And we can just put these two right there. That should be good enough. All right, so we're just gonna get our 45 degree roof shingles and basically just carry this straight across. Let me just do that at the top. Okay, so now we're gonna do the back section here and we're just gonna carry this roof straight across and make sure that we have the the roof overhang, one meter roof overhang on the other side. So I'm just gonna skip this section out. Okay, so with the back roof now finished, now we can tackle the tower. And how we're gonna do this is that we're going to we basically place one meter wood uh, beam to find a central point. Well, each of all of these pieces are pointed to a center to this build here. So and. Plus you can see the line that follow through and connect to the other side. So we're just going to need a 2 meter wood beam to push out at the edges, creating the roof overhang. So something like this. Great, so once that is done, we just get our 45, well, our 26 degree first, then we got to switch to our 45 degree. So we all do this. And then 
we will switch it over to the 45 degree till everything meets at the center of the okay tower. so once you're done your, your roof should look like this if it's not looking like this then you might have done something wrong <laughs> but um, the next thing that we just need to do is to finish our overhang here to kind of give it some shape and this is what our roof is going to rest on to help us to reach to that point uh, there so just finishing this up and uh, oh, one more section here and there we go now we just need to get out our 26 degree uh, roof tile now if you haven't seen my roof um, video so what I did in the video is that right at the edge here what happens is that this beam creates a little cover when I place these two overlapping each other you won't really see it from a far distance and plus it kind of create a nice little pattern or style uh, I would say so I'm just going to do this all around the, the roof should look like this so far now we just need to get our 45 degree roof and how we're going to place this is that we're going to aim right at the tip there you see how it just easily snaps in we're just going to work with it and we just do it on the other side everything is all good there it's going to overlap a bit but not too much to make it look too obvious because we have the the angle uh, beam there hiding that little um, thing that is going on there our, our final row we let's basically find that central point there so you may see that it shift a little to the left or it shift a little to the right um, either side is fine and just um, it could basically just snap it going around now you may have a little space up top here but it's not that obvious and plus you have these little angled um, beams here to provide uh, covering Let's see is that, is that good? That looks like it went in too much Let's see if we can correct it Is it fixed? No, it's like it's repeating the same thing right, Let's see if we can do this side first Okay, that should be good. Okay, so with everything now in place, foundation, structure, and your roof, now it's time for the fun part. And okay, so we're gonna start off with our, our top structure here. I'm gonna deal with this, this section here later on. I'm just gonna start with the easy part, and we're just going to put about three windows in this section here. So let me just get my one meter stone. I think I'm gonna start right here. I think there's nice. Another window space and another window. That looks all evened out. And we just break this and this. So we'll just make sure that it's three stones high. Oops. Let me just fix this up. Alright, and we just do the same over here. Alright, so with our windows all in place. So we're gonna frame it out to so get our wood. I would just like to have you know, wood trimmings around the edges for the stone because the stone is so jagged and not so clean. The wood helps to make that look a lot better and pleasing to the eyes. So once we have... Now you can repeat this same step for the other windows that we are below and on the back. Basically they are all the same. So with this in this in place, the next thing is to place another another wood beam right there and here as well. The mix to beautify this window here. So let us get close up personal with this here. So we're gonna take our time. Uh, for you guys, if you're not used to placing stool, so basically you just need to tuck in this almost halfway. Because it take about four going across and just line let's follow the line let's follow the line there let's, let's take your time and place it you may not um, place it as fast as as i would and make it all neat and clean but just take time practice uh, as they say makes perfect that's how they say it <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to add our window ledge here so one, two, rotate, stuck that in. One, two, rotate, stuck that in. Do this on the other side. Now it's optional to put the window ledge at the 
the back uh, for the front i don't think you need that because it's going to take up too much space all right so we're going to move on to the bottom here i'm just going to put some little wood uh, trim here uh, look at that nice lovely lovely okay so the plan for these are that we're going to put the columns just like what you see in the the video uh, earlier or the preview of the build earlier so let's basically cover that with wood because we want to add the wood uh, iron uh, pole so we'll do this here as well and here okay good and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do my little column design where we just I hold down on the shift key and I start off with the one meter wood uh, pole kind of slightly tuck it in a bit and I switch it over to my two meter to place it beside it do the same on the other side just creating a different design uh, with the, the column when alternate between the one meter and the two meter uh, wood pole you can do that repeat the same thing here and we just take our wood two meter wood pole and just snap snap and snap that done that's good great so when your columns are done it should look like this and man I just love these columns just love them now another thing that I do is to to kind of make it look like a column is just place a one meter wood there at the front and then to the side basically wrapping it round you see it's creating a, a, a little uh, a depth there it's like it's holding it it gives that impression that it's holding up the structure although the the, the, the iron beam is the one that is doing all that um, lifting work so yeah really living up to its uh, its purpose there and look so just do that on the the base here okay so now we're gonna go deep into fixing up the base here also a little tips here where i just like just think about your home and like kind of look around and for me it's like i want to put these wood trims here reason being is that one kind of reminds me of like when you have like a um, crown molding and uh, kind of bring the build to life to some degree i mean uh, let me know what you think so when placing that i usually just place uh, another line of wood like this now for outside or front here we need to fix this up i'm going to use our stone floor i'm going to tuck it in it looks like it doesn't want to tuck in the normal way and you know what we're going to do we're going to drop a stone wall drop another and get our stone floor and there we go. Good. And maybe we should be able to do this on the other side. I don't think it's gonna. Ooh, this one works this time around. Go in. Yep. Use this one meter, the sharp piece of wood that's in the column, and give it that that look. Okay. So another thing that I added was the having the little uh, arch look here at the entrance. So I'm gonna see if I can tuck this right into this wood here should be able to do it unless there's something interfering with it all right so i may have to break this part of the column so that this can basically tuck in like that do this on the other side come on come on there we go so we have a nice little arch section so we're going to do it on this side as well we take this out should be able to tuck it into this wood here there we go and now for the other side, it's maybe a bit of a challenge. Is it straight? Ah, there we go. Okay, so for the tower, now we're gonna start off with the base. And I uh, use this. I've never had a reason to use this stone, but from recently I have found uh, a lot more use for it for creating um, a, a different base design for towers and, and whatnot. I think I have a castle design in mind, but I'm kind of holding off on castle designs for now. I just want to see how much um, 
regular houses I can put out before going into a big project like that. So we're just going to get our stone column to fill in the gaps right here. You just kind of zoom out a bit so I can see a lot clearer. Alright, so there we go. We can just rotate it, find that middle ground. Rotate, find the middle ground. Great. So basically giving our, our tower, tower uh, a nice little base. Let me fix this up here. There we go. So we're just going to get our stone stairs and we kind of tuck it in. So we're just going all the way around with it. This one, I think I'm going to put it like a window. So a tall window. Like three. One, two, three. I'm going to leave that side. Uh, fine. Let's see if we, we can get that done. Okay, so we have all the openings for our windows. Let's see if we can just clean this up, give it some shape. So I'm going to see. I think maybe we could make it look like that these edges are poking out. So I think I like the look of it. And let's get the I think 45 degree wood should be should be good. Put it outside, right there and one right there and we're gonna cover up the little gaps up top but let's put in another one over this section and do the same on the other side and we just bring the trimmings up let's, let's rotate that some more great and we just finish up our base right here. This is the window when it's all put together. I think I really like the the whole uh, low, the small window, the big window in the middle, and the small one to the, the side. If you guys like it? Just let me know in the comments because I think I have some future design ideas for this, for like some tower, some castle kind of um, design. You know, I really want to get back into the castle uh, building make use of these glass but anyways now we're gonna work on the top here so I made a little uh, doorway here to come out on the balcony this is going to be a window I'm just gonna make it the same size as the doorway so that everything looks uh, even out uh, let me just fill that in Let's see one more so you basically just break to come down two stone uh, two stone walls down and then you just break about one two three four so four stone walls in, in, in height is the window yeah so that should be should, there should be enough I'm just gonna clean that up and uh, farm the balcony one thing to note is that whenever I am doing like medieval builds I like to add these little wood trims um, especially like up the top here where the roof is me appear hammer okay so right up the top and you notice a difference. Uh, game save there. So you notice a difference when you you had the trim. Look at that. It is coming together nicely. Mm. A few more wood trimmings here and there. So like the so like right here, I would normally put some wood trimmings here and rotate it to to make the edge of the wood poke out and uh, just carry that up. You see the difference uh, with it. Also, I just need to clean up some areas here, like underneath this roof. Let's get our 26 degree. And so, if you like hiding this uh, this opening here, you just set your wood manually and just place it over it. Should hide all that wall there. Great. I like to put the half wall down at the base for the medieval bills that I do. Just carry it around. It tend to soak up when it when you start to add all of these wood trims it tend to soak up a lot of the instances. But hey, if you if you like it and you prefer to have that look, um go ahead. If you prefer not to, then that's fine. Either way. And the edges always put some more wood trims there. 
Okay, so that's basically it. Don't forget to check out Viking Druid for some awesome deals. Special thanks to my patrons for keeping the channel going. See you guys in the next build.